For anyone, it's a fairly major change from the hot weather of the Caribbean city of Cartagena to the much colder climes of Bogotá at an altitude of 2,500 meters. But then again, this was always going to be an extraordinary experience for the under-12 football team, Confinalco Deporte de Cartagena, as they journeyed south to the Colombian capital. For this group of young boys and girls, it was the culmination of a dream to travel to the final part of the FIFA Grassroots Festival of Colombia 2011. Such a big event would of course make its mark on all such young participants, but perhaps none more so than this humble team composed totally from families of particularly difficult backgrounds. No, in the case of us, of course, because not only in Cartagena, but also in other regions of the country, the potential is not in the academies of the professional clubs. The true potential is in the football academies of the local clubs that work hard every day to gain recognition and so be able to play in these very important tournaments. The shirts provided by FIFA were warmly welcomed by the only team that didn't have its own strip. With this important detail taken care of, the young team could focus on the tournament ahead. Sadly, they suffered three defeats early on. The third game, they went down 2-1 to the best team in the festival, Boca Juniors de Cali. But these turned out to be several amazing days for the young players. The last match in their group saw them fall again when facing Academia Barranquilera in a coastal derby. But the team did their best, had fun, shared and learned a great deal both on and off the pitch. What I personally liked best was to meet new people, different people, and also the fact that I was able to interact and talk to them. What I liked most was to be with my friends, sharing a room and making new friends from different cities. It is now time to return to Cartagena and apply the values learned in Bogotá. Team spirit, fair game, camaraderie towards everyone, and also that football is a sport that can unite people and change lives in a positive way. As night falls in Bogotá, one young man dreams of making football his life. My dream is to play in a World Cup for the Colombian national team. Football means a great opportunity for me. Football gives me a lot of opportunities to learn new things. This is Brian Marin, an offensive midfielder and a promising star of the under-12s from the Academy Compensar from Bogotá. It's one of the biggest footballing academies in the Colombian capital, and they finished second in the FIFA Grassroots Festival final tournament. Brian comes from a suburb called Barrio de Postibon, one of the poorest parts of the city. But wherever Brian's future lies, his mother wants him to keep his feet firmly on the ground. I'll always tell him not to change, to always be the same humble and noble kid that he is, to continue what he is doing so that tomorrow things may go well for him in football. If he doesn't make it in football, there are other things in life. Hopefully he will continue to be the easy-going kid he is now. I changed my attitude for this festival. I eat better and I had more rest because I knew this was a great opportunity. I felt really happy to take part in this and enjoyed all the opportunities I had. It surpassed all my expectations. It was great to participate. I have great teammates who let me do what I like on the pitch. That is to have fun and do some good passing. With great displays of football, Compensar went all the way to the grand final. They played a tough match against Boca Juniors de Cali, where Brian's team did their best.
but in the end, it was a hurdle too far. But most important was the chance to compare himself to the teams from different parts of the country. As a crowning experience, Brian received a special mention on TV. I hope to one day play for the Colombian national team at a World Cup and never to forget this festival.